Definitely we appreciate how much work goes into doing these you know, when you go to a venue and you watch a show with like uh, with a thousand people or something, mm, yeah, maybe you realize just how many moving parts oh, there, there are. There are and, a lot. You know, a lot of people um, were like, "Damn, why don't they come into my place or whatever?" It's like, well, it's it's very fucking difficult mm, to organize yeah. a tour, yeah, and it, it kind of sucks. So a lot of people are like, "Why the U.S.?" Um, well, the U.S. is in a very unique lo- a place where it is actually like built for tours. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, a lot of the time when you're moving merch across borders, and that's how a lot of these shows, I didn't realize this either. Mm. A lot of these concerts only make like most of their profits through the merch. Yeah. Like ticket sales, you don't actually get that much money because a lot of the, co- like the venue's expensive, everything else is expensive. All the, staff. Yeah. all the staff, like yeah. You, yeah. You, as the sh- like talent and the, the kind of agency or whatever, you don't make much money from the tickets. Mm. Yeah. And the US is, in a prime position where you can actually drive around all the same country where all the same like rules with mm. selling merch. Oh, it's, and, it's, yeah. it's all the laws because I, I think we learned a lot just from doing this US tour. Yeah. There were a lot of complaints being like, oh, they, they, they hate the entire world because everyone <laughs> just goes to the US. So we did one show in Canada. And I think like the only time we got like negative feedback from our show yeah. was from that one show in Canada. And that was to do with, there was like, we, we had the show in Canada and uh, we didn't realize that there were different laws in terms of bringing merch across the border, different laws of hiring mm. staff members because mm-hmm. all staff members need to be hired locally. Yeah. Um, and there was a lot of logistical things that just weren't within like our radars when well, we sorted it out. We, we didn't know that, uh, we didn't know that, but obviously the tour company knew that, but obviously yeah. still, you know, trying to get like the merch shipments to arrive on time. Mm, I didn't yeah. realize this was a problem, but yeah, that that's a mm. whole thing. Yeah. And that's, that needs to be taken care of. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of the times you're kind of hoping that all the moving pieces should work. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes mm. they don't. And it's like, what do we do? Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, we we ended up like shipping twelve boxes of merch to our Canada show and one arrived. And then we had sure. one day to get as much merch made locally in Canada as we could. Yeah. Unfortunately, it wasn't as much merch as we had in our US yeah. shows, but that's kind of like the things that people don't think about and mm. don't know about. Cause yeah. you know, when, uh, you know, if you do a tour in multiple countries, every country has their own laws. Mm-hmm. Every country has their own taxes. Yeah. It's not just getting people from one venue to another, you know, it's- yeah. so, what, so what we're trying to say is hate the game, not the player. <laughs> yeah, obviously, obviously, <laughs> obviously it can be done because people do it, but yeah. it's just, yeah. it's, uh, it's harder. It yeah. is yeah. a lot for, it is, for a first tour of the US makes a lot yeah. of sense. Yeah. This was also our first tour as well. So we had so many things that I guess we just didn't know until it happened. Yeah. I mean, yeah. thankfully, I'd like to say that the tour was a massive success. Yeah. success oh, for so I didn't see I'm any s- negative reviews. I'm no. so, I'm so <laughs> glad because yeah. like we, we, one of the biggest things I was worried about pre-tour was that we'd start doing like shows and people would like, you would, you know, I've seen feedback before of like, you know, people that have gone on tours and you know, I've seen the feedback of just like, oh, it wasn't really worth the money. I yeah. spent all this money to see and it just wasn't yeah. really worth it. And I'm like, thankfully, it felt like everyone had a good time and mm. we put on a good show that we yep. brought to like different places. And I was just like, after, I think it was like after the first show mm. that I actually had like faith in our show, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Cause well, we, we had the outline of the show and we didn't actually, yeah. we'd never rehearsed it. And we didn't really know how it was gonna go until yeah. the rehearsals, which was two days before mm. yeah. of our actual show. Yeah. yeah, and like our show relied so much on like crowd interaction mm. and having a rehearsal in front of like five people versus like the thousand people that we had in our actual mm. show was like night and day in terms mm. of like vibe and chemistry and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so I was going through rehearsals. I was like, I think we have a good show, mm. but I'm mm. not sure. I'm I, th- not- I think as well, it was, it was tough for us because you know, we do stuff in front of a camera, right? Yeah. And doing stuff in front of a camera like this, or like the videos that we do personally, is very different to putting on a show mm. on stage, right? Oh, yeah. it is. And you know, some people will be like, oh, but you guys are used to, you know, doing panels at conventions and stuff yeah. like that. It's a very different feel. Mm. Yeah. You know, a panel is a million times easier than what, what we were, what we had to do oh, on, uh, on stage. I, you know? I was fucking knackered after every show. <laughs> oh like, yeah. I, I was I, like, it drains me yeah. so much. And, that, and that's because like, we actually try to make it a show rather mm. than just make it you know, trash podcast taste. on stage. Podcast yeah. on yeah. stage. It was really yeah. cool getting to see you guys from like from the first show, like the tenth show. How much you guys quickly improved at mm. like, yeah. being on stage? It was mm. really fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, I, I, th- I think by like the like halfway point, we all had like a rhythm and yeah, on stage. Yeah, yeah. We knew how to like bounce off each other. What worked well with the crowd, mm. what didn't work so well with the crowds. I also noticed we had like just without even discussing it necessarily, we had like certain jokes that we knew. 
the yeah. kind of rhythm to yeah. Yeah. and like where to place it and like because it was always you know you you do uh, the the show and then you kind of noticed oh okay th- this joke kind of hit maybe yeah. i can try it again in the next show <clears throat> yeah. and then without thinking like i knew exactly when say like connor or gant were going to say specific jokes and yeah. you exactly kind of the yeah. feel and rhythm to go with it right yeah yeah like you know gant would do like the one piece is real thing at the beginning yes <laughs> which always <laughs> popped off right and i always knew to sing can we get much higher you know so <laughs> it was just kind of like it was it's this weird thing of it started off as very much like a an impromptu ad lib filled script like you know non scripted show yeah but then I feel by the end of it it kind of turned into like almost a scripted show in yeah. in a weird way it, it was like like we had segments that we didn't know what was going to happen yeah. and then segments that was kind of like scripted yeah. that yeah. we kind of knew how to like transition between segments and stuff yeah, like that and play, and play off the audience and stuff like mm. that. Um, but like having said that, you know, I, I'd say that every show did have a lot of like variety in, in mm. them. Mm. Um, and we kind of did that by design. And it was very, very interesting to see how, what, what the different vibe in each city was. We right? definitely learned a lot about, I guess, like the diversity of crowds in the US. Oh, that's I, sure. I, th- I think yeah. what I what I enjoyed most about the shows was actually like our show was our way to learn about that particular area, mm. and we got we I learned a lot that you couldn't just get by googling yeah, what are, no, what are the cool. top five like uh, what are the top five most famous things about this one area, yeah. right? It was really, really interesting to see what certain states and cities were really passionate about, mm. yeah. stuff they weren't. Mm. Um, yeah, that was fun. Because a lot of the times it was very surprising. Mm. Yeah. And you know, a lot of the times you got questions at, cause we did Q and A before every show. Mm. Uh, and uh, people would always ask, you know, did it, did the tour change your opinion on the US at all? And I would always answer yes and no. Yeah. <laughs> cause yes, some things did change, but it doubled down like 10 other things. <laughs> oh <laughs> God, yeah. Uh, and we, we, we kept having like an argument about like we were like, is the US more diverse than uh, they they claim, or is it because right? Oh yeah, I was this. like, I think the US is more diverse than say the UK compared to Australia. I was like, you're full of shit. Like that's not. I true I, at all. I, I I didn't say that. I I said it felt like like going from uh, West Coast to East Coast. Mm. I felt like going from like say LA to New York to me felt more different than going to London to Sydney. I, no. I, 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 and I still no. believe that. No. I, gen, I no. genuinely believe should, that. Should I be offended as an Australian? Yes. Why? Yes. <laughs> Why is that offensive? I because it's like not even close. What no, Australians are a different breed of people. Yeah. They're like straight I don't, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. I would I think, understand the no. comparison between say like Australia and New Zealand. Uh, that That's yeah. a little more understandable. <laughs> but like okay. Australia and England, bro? That, Come we're on. different, we're different. We okay. tried our okay. best to not do yeah, that. No, 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 no. I think, I think culturally, culturally, yeah. you know, I, I think Australians and Brits have a lot in common culturally. Oh, of course. We have like a very so, okay, similar actually, sense of humor. I, we have a very I, similar- okay. I, you know, I, I, yeah, I agree there's comparisons there. What do you think of the differences then between the West Coast and the East Coast vibes? Um, I think like, I think the vibe in East Coast is like totally different from West Coast. East Coast, they like talk faster. They are much more direct with the way they like speak mm. and treat I, people. I, I agree with that. You know, like West Coast are like way more chilled. They're a bit more flowery with their language and their words. Whereas, you know, with East Coast it's kind of like, you know, they talk way faster. Mm. And More things direct, yeah. things move faster in the East Coast than the West Coast. Mm. You know, I think uh, I you know I because when I went to Sydney, for mm. example, when I went to Sydney, um, I was like, damn, this kind of feels like London with good weather. You know, I I, <laughs> I was looking. You know, I that, look- that changes the game though. That that's uh, that, that's everything. The but- weather is everything. <laughs> no, no, you no. I remember the exact words you said. You were like, wow, you 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 know, you you hung out in Sydney for like three days, and yeah. you were like. This is like the UK, except if everyone was happy. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, I'm like, yeah, good weather yeah, will do that to you. It's like going to other European countries and be like, it's like the UK, but different language. It's like, it's like- No, yeah, it no, everything. no, no. I, I, think, I, think, I think, you know, different countries in Europe are fucking totally different in terms of like vibes and cultures mm-hmm. and everything like that. I was just saying, I think the UK and like UK and Australia have a lot similar I, culturally. I, I, I mean, you're you, comparing London and Sydney, which are two cities. True, I think the true. UK is very, diverse throughout and you know, you can't I, compare Scotland to like London. Yeah, okay, I, would, okay. I would say there's like a bigger difference in between like Dublin and London. 
you know yeah like dublin yeah. feels like a different country than yeah okay yeah, okay like but if, entire, okay uh, let's London. London. Like, let's say let's say england then okay, let's say fine, england because yeah. england to me is london and then everywhere else london <laughs> has like <laughs> I, <laughs> have you gone to the north <laughs> i i have been to the north <laughs> yeah. okay okay where I, where, like, where, uh, where have you got what's the most how north? far north yeah how far north have liverpool you gone? i've gone to no liverpool. You, is liverpool not north it's liverpool is northern come on it's north but it's not it's not north north okay it's not it's not yorkshire it's not fucking i'm telling you because i I've been to Liverpool many times, bro. I've, right. been, I've been to Grimsby once. It did not feel like <laughs> Liverpool at all. Right. I don't know. I, I think that, I, I think it's hard to, you can judge cities a lot easier, especially like London and Sydney because, yeah. well, Sydney was kind of built like London in yeah. a sense. Yeah, you know, there, there are sections of Sydney that look very similar to something you would find in London. Mm. Um, but I think if you're comparing the culture of the country, like as Australia to the England, it's very different. It's so yeah. different. It's night and day. Do you, do you think so? Yes. Why, why do you, okay, yes. what, what do you think, what do you think is like so different about it then? Because I, genuinely, okay. Well, okay this is now, yeah, now you have to ask, what is a culture? <laughs> Let's do this again. Well, what makes up the what culture? What constitutes this culture? Right, so like, are we talking just the people? Are we talking, cause yeah. like, you know, if you're talking how they have their own dialect, essentially. They talk very differently. They have I their mean, own Australia words. has its own language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, you know, they have uh, the, its own native population, which is totally different as well, which mm. plays an impact. They mm. don't play the same sports a lot of the times as us. They have mm. AFL and they play some of them like cricket and rugby, mm. but you know, they do play other sports. Yes. Yeah. Um, they have sun. That's a big one. <laughs> they surf they, and they, they have surf, sun. They have beaches. We, we have good yeah. beaches. That changes the game, quite okay. frankly. Okay, you know? okay. What, what, okay, here's, uh, I think- Animals, <laughs> completely different landscapes. I, don't yeah, know. I mean, you but you, you, well you, can, you can say that with a place like America, you know, you, mm. go, to, you go to fucking Florida, no, I you, know, agree, you have I fucking agree. gators, you go to yeah. Colorado. Florida is in its own thing. But bro. that's the thing, right? It's, just, it's still the same country, right? I agree that's though, what I agree. That's what I'm saying. There's native populations in America, obviously as well. And it depends a lot. I don't know, it feels weird because no matter where you go, right? And, and no matter how much local differences, mm. okay. they never quite lose that kind of Americanness that they, they always have. Whereas like yeah. certain traits that I think Americans often have. And right. I think that just never really, so you always, even though you're in Seattle, you're in Florida, it always feels like America. Mm. That, that mm. feeling never really goes, no mm. matter which, at least from the mainland, I've never been to Hawaii or- mm. I mean, Hawaii is something- Never been to Alaska different. either, I don't know how that feels, but yeah. it always still feels America. Like you can never quite shake that, that kind of the, the vibes mm. that Americans have in a weird, weird way. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm saying, I do think, you know, there is some kind of like Americanness in the feeling and stuff like that. Mm. But I'm saying like, there is a lot of like, I going to different parts of America, it like, there was a lot of like differences. There was yeah. like, there was like some similarities, but I've never felt like such, such a dichotomy of like different mentalities and different ways of thinking in the same country before. Mm. Like, where, as I was saying, the reason I, I brought up the UK and Australia is that to me, I, it feels like, you know, UK are like, I'm gonna say England, okay? Because I'm, I'm mostly talking about England. Yeah. English people and an Australian people feel like they're cut from the same cloth, but they just have different starting like parameters, you know? Mm. Mm. But I feel like we're, we're kind of cut from the same cloth. I, you know, you, a lot of English people get along well with Australians. I mean, we're fucking same brain cell and shit like that. Even though we grew up like halfway across the world from each other, yeah. you know what I mean? I feel like culturally we have like the same sense of humor a lot mm. of the times. Mm. We mm. kind of think That's very fair. similar. We have like, you know, we have our different cultures that depend on, you know, where we are in the world and everything like that. And mm. like the wildlife and the geography and all that stuff. But I feel like at its core, we, you know, we, think a lot of the same ways. Whereas in America, you go to like different states, like there is such a big difference going from a red state to a blue state. It's like, you you feel- I, I agree with that. And yeah. obviously a lot of a lot of Americans already watching this are like, yo, I don't want to be fucking grouped in with like Nebraska. I don't yeah. want yeah. to be grouped in with Florida. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, and, and that happens a lot. So a lot of Americans are always real, really feel patriotic a lot of the time about yes. their state or where they are. Yeah. Um, and I agree. Yeah, there are a lot yeah. of differences, but uh, again, like I said, it still feel like you never feel like you've left America in a mm. sense. And like, 
I, I very much feel like I'm not in the UK when I'm when I'm in Australia when I was there. Mm. It, de- it definitely didn't feel like it at all to me. Right. I don't know. I, like, I was. I know. I was like walking around like Sydney and I saw like pubs and I saw like chippies and like yeah. chicken shops. I was like, fuck. I f- I feel like I'm in London yeah, right yeah, now, man. Yeah. I kind of feel like I'm at home right now. I, don't I know. Guess, I guess it's, <laughs> again, like I said earlier, it's hard to compare cities, right? Because the yeah. cities more often than not like fe- I, I you get more Australian the more you leave a city, right? Oh yeah, yeah. that's true. That's true. I mean, you know when I went outside of London for the first time, you know, like yeah. towards like- yeah, you Sol- see the countryside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, Chris took me to like Salisbury and like, you know, other places <laughs> like that. And I'm just like, this is definitely not like Australia <laughs> anymore. Like, this is just like as British as it get- fucking gets.